How's it going guys? Just like the title says, today we're putting a Hydro in the 350Z. Um, last time I did this, I used the Part Shop Max um, handbrake. Uh, worked out really good, especially with 350Z. It fits in there really good. I used their line kit. I wasn't too impressed with it. It worked, but I just want to try something different this time. So I'm using the uh, GK Tech um, line kit. Uh, the lines look really good it's like a really high quality it looks like so hopefully this will fit a little better and um, i'm going to show you how to do a dual well not a dual copper setup but basically a standalone system without spending a ton of money up front so hang around and uh check out what we got going on Okay guys, now that I remember what I did, I kind of went back and looked at the pictures. This is pretty much the location. Like I said, I'm just going to mark it right here. And like I said, I'll cut it and push it down and then just weld it on the sides and just tack it right there in the back corners. That's what I did in my old setup. It worked out perfect. And I didn't use the uh, reservoir that they supply with the kit. I actually ordered a, um, a brake reservoir for the bike I had at the time when I had my 350Z. Or I don't think I had that bike. I might have a different bike. But anyway, I ordered a brake reservoir for an 07 CBR 1000 and basically bolted it to the top, like the top right here, this little plate. I drilled two holes and it has like a little pin that, that locates it. So I basically drilled two holes, one that located it and one that would bolt it down. And it just tucks up really nice and you can run the line right around the back. You don't lose any cubby space you cut this hole out perfect just so this will stick through. You can unscrew it and you can check your fluid. So it's a really, really slick way of doing it. Um, I'll make sure I'll put the link of the parts and stuff in the description. And uh, when it's all done, you guys will see it looks amazing. And like, uh, it's just a really clean, uh, neat way to do it. But anyway, I'm going to get started on it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark this, cut it, set it down, get everything cleaned up bring my welder over here go ahead and weld it in place i'll probably run the lines up and go ahead and put the res the this this reservoir right here just temporary so i can actually bleed the system and go ahead and use it uh just not going to fill it up that way when i take the line off to go to the other reservoir i don't leak brake fluid all over the inside of the car yeah i kind of press for time so i don't want to like waste time and not do it so i'm gonna go ahead and do it and we'll go back later and trim the cubby and everything like that and put this in but for now which we use that and uh, get it all up and functioning. So, all right, guys, that's uh, all mounted. Don't make fun of my welds. Like I said, it was dark, it was cold. Welding with flashlight, don't see very well, but it's in there. Um, so I think it's in a good location. It's a little, it's a little close, I guess. I moved it forward to try to give me more room on my, uh, on my AC and everything, but I don't think it'll be that bad. I, mean, I got plenty of room. But it is on there very, very, very solid. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. If I can get, the weld, get it to focus on the welds. So yeah, just basically welded all the way around both sides and tack down at the back um i do remember on my old one i had to trim that so this would not rub so i definitely got it a, a little further forward but anyway it should work go ahead and mount the reservoir run the line and run the line up under the car and everything and Get a buddy to come help me and get the thing bled. Put the diff in, and we should be ready to go. Sweet. Okay, we got the line kit open and everything. And I still have to say, I'm very impressed with this. I mean, these lines are just like really high quality. I mean, I can't wait to get this thing in. I think it's gonna work out awesome. They still like these little tabs so you can, you know, self drill it to your floor, I guess. Um, 
so I'm probably just if it will allow me to do it I don't know how they want you to run it but I'll probably just zip tie all my stuff to the uh, factory brake lines um, I think that's how I did my other one and it worked out pretty good never had any issues with it rubbing or anything so yeah go ahead and run some of these guys and uh, yeah I mean these things are awesome I love these things really really high quality but we'll see how they fit okay guys just to show y'all up close um, like I said your rear left and your right rear just want to show you like I said just kind of not like that just kind of welded the caps so they wouldn't you know just so fluid wouldn't come out of them and I just put these little dust covers on the hard line so no junk or trash will get in there and uh, let's see here Grab one more come to the back and see the same thing you know you just got your hard line hanging out and uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to do with the camera just kind of oh, I'll have to do it later yeah you get that here just slide the dust cap on there your lines gone and I'll just run the the hydro lines to the brake calipers and we'll have a, uh, a hydro standalone kind of set up like it's a dual caliper but not yet a dual caliper <laughs> but it's 100 safe and it's just like riding a bike you know you gotta you gotta know and to think to work the front and back brake together you can do the same thing in the car you have your foot and the hydro the handbrake so you can work it that way or you know it is what it is but that's, that's just gonna be temporary eventually i'll uh i'll get the parts i need and everything and we'll do the full brimbos all the way around and uh the dual caliper setup but for now that's why i'm gonna run it many many days later <laughs> uh what happened is the little banjo fitting that come with the line kit that i ordered uh this i'm guessing this is like a tapered thread inside of this master cylinder well me not knowing that and excited to get my handbrake working i had the line on there and i was tightening i feel it kind of snug up i was like, all right sweet so I tightened it a little bit and I was like, man, it's leaking. So tightened it up a little bit more. I was like, what the heck's going on? It's still leaking. Tightened up a little bit more. And that last little bit more is what got me. I ended up st like stripping all the threads out of this thing. So I called up Summit, ordered another one. And if you read on the Part Shop Max website, they tell you that this is a modified version of theirs. And uh, pretty much what they do is they just tap on some extra threads on to here and cut it so it'll actually work with their handbrake and um so basically all i did i just ordered one from summit because you know they're just down the road from me and i just switched out the rod you know you can kind of just got this little clip in there that holds it and just kind of pop that out switch the rods out but i was like all right well i thought it was clever so i was like well i'll cut down the banjo fitting that way it will just tighten right up in there that didn't work either so I was tightening a little bit and tightening a little bit <laughs> and thankfully I stopped before it got the threads so I just went down to Lowe's and got like this little elbow um, so I'm hoping I can like tighten this in there I'm gonna put like a little red Loctite in there and tighten it in there just because the threads are a little bit mm, iffy so I'm gonna do that uh, put some Loctite in there tighten it down get it in the right orientation and hope it doesn't leak and I'm hoping that this banjo it looks like it will so I'm hoping this is actually going to seal in there. So keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm going to knock this out real quick. And we'll see if this thing works. That way I can finish putting the car together. And uh, actually go do some, some slides somewhere. Alright. That's what's been going on. I'm going to get to it. Okay guys. The trimming has started. I just wanted to show you all this real quick. Um, kind of see where I cut it out. Got a little crazy up here. But it's okay just so you have plenty of room for it to clear the last one i did i moved it forward a little bit more this one's probably or i moved it back or whichever way moved it towards the front of the car more um but it was like really close to the climate control so i wanted to move this one back a little bit you can kind of see yep the trimming started so i just want to show you all that the first little spot where you have to trim I kind of so I imagine a lot of people just cut this little bracket right here off, but I kind of just cut it close and kind of kept it, you know. 
But yep, I'm gonna finish cutting stuff and that thing just fell off, jeez. I'm gonna finish cutting my interior up and make this thing fit and uh, go ahead and get it finished up. <laughs> Always with the phone going off. <laughs> uh, but this is pretty much it. Uh, definitely this is higher than it was on my other one. I'm kind of bummed about that. The one I had in my old Z was like really, really low and it looked really, really clean. But with this one, I was more concerned about moving it forward a little bit. So, but not too bad. It's one little freaking nick right here it drives me crazy. This is just dirt, like it's dirty, um, where it's just been sitting in the car when it was wrecked. But not too bad. I think I need to trim a little bit more right here. I think it's still hitting on the brace. But everything else clears. Should look really good. Like I said, I'm just waiting on my reservoir to come in so I can finish putting everything together. Like I said, it'll sit right here and be a sit right here and be inside the cubby so you won't even see it but it's a really slick nice way to do it and like I said, I'm looking forward to it it's turned out pretty good so she's almost ready to go and ready to rip but she's coming together got the fenders on headlights on got the wheels got some spacers going on to kind of get a little better fitment because it's basic factory wheels factory fitment looks pretty bad because the car is on lowering springs i'm probably not going to lower it anymore like i said i just want something to kind of go slide around with so but we're getting there can't figure out what i'm gonna do about painting the car i don't know if i want to try to uh, paint the whole entire car or what or just try to paint match the parts of putting on the best I can so I'm talking a few places about trying to get some paint for this thing but shouldn't be too much longer but that's pretty much her for now uh, diffs in hydros in so as of right now, throw some tail lights on this thing and we could take it for a little spin. Um, going to try to make it look a little better in the next couple of videos, hopefully. But time will tell. We'll just have to see how stuff goes. Um, pretty much all I got for now. But uh hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this helped someone out. If you were interested in using that hydro, that line kit and stuff like that. Um, I'll put the link of that little fitting, the hydro um why well, keep calling it hydra i don't know why i did that but anyway i'll put a link for the handbrake and the little fitting and the line kit that i used in the description uh so you guys can check that out stuff or check that stuff out if you want to worked out pretty good just that one little little hiccup uh, but at least now you know so worked out pretty good for me and uh yeah that's pretty much it see you in the next one guys I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Look at this. Much more. <laughs>